everyone welcome to talent sprint series on most frequently asked coding questions in this series we are taking a look at a variety of questions that have been asked in interviews as well as written exams over the years we are not only giving you the solution but also providing you tips and pointers along the way to help improve your coding style and code like a professional in today's video we are going to write a program to check if two strings are anagrams or not what do we mean by anagrams a word or phrase formed by reordering the characters of the current phrase for example if we have break so baker is another word that can be made using the letters that are occurring in the word break similarly leader and dealer both have same words same count all right so given the two strings bread and baker you should be able to identify through your function if these two are anagrams or not so we'll see a quick and easy way to do this using java programming let's move on to the function we have written a function r anagrams and we are passing the both the strings string 1 and string 2 to our function first off what we have done is in order for the two words to be anagrams they have to be of similar length so first off we are starting by checking that only if string 1 dot length is not equal to string 2 dot length that means they are not anagrams so we are straight off returning false if this condition is satisfied then we move on to the rest of the checks first off what we are doing is converting both the strings to upper case using the pre existing function to upper case so this will convert both our strings to upper case then we are converting both the strings to character arrays so for that also there is a pre existing function we can use which is to char array so string name dot to char array gives you a character array with all the characters of the string in there okay so we have str1 dot underscore cares and str2 underscore cares now that we have all the characters of your string stored in a character array the next thing we are doing is we are sorting the character array so the elements will be arranged in the sorted order for that again we have arrays dot sort and pass the character array inside again fairly simple pre existing function arrays dot sort allow that function to traverse through your character array and it will sort your arrays finally when you have both your character arrays sorted all you have to do simply is compare them both if character by character they match or not for that also you don't have to do anything there is again a pre existing function that you can use which is arrays dot equals this will simply compare both the character arrays and return true if they are equal or return false if they are not equal so fairly simple right all you had to do was remember certain pre existing functions of string and arrays and the program got practically written for you by itself let's see the call in the main so as you can see in the main function we have created two strings str1 and str2 and assign the values reserved and reverse to both of them and we are simply passing these strings to our function r anagram and as you can see and judge by yourself already the output would be true for this program so i hope you enjoyed this video and you got to learn certain pre existing functions which will make writing programs easier for you in the future we'll come up with many more interesting concepts and questions like this so don't forget to subscribe and also if you have any queries for us or if there are any questions you want us to take up in this series please don't forget to drop a mail at the email id mentioned on the screen thank you for watching and happy coding